When you're ready to start making your poster for the STEM research series, you need to go to canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A dot com, and sign up for a free account. You can use your Google email, Facebook login, or you can use your student email or personal email. When you've logged into the free personal account, if you want to start your poster from scratch, then you can come up here to choose create a design. Now I already have a pre-made template that you can use, so stay tuned to this video to learn about that. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to create a correctly sized new design. So when you click on create a design, it gives you all these options like a perfectly sized Facebook post, a perfectly sized resume, perfectly sized Instagram story, etc. So your first instinct might be to choose this poster, but it's 18 inches by 24 inches. And I know that the common foam core board sign that or foam core board that you would buy from Walmart is 20 inches by 30 inches. So we actually need that size. So I'll choose custom size down here and change my width to, I think I want landscape orientation. So I'm going to do 30 by 20. Now, if you want portrait orientation, you just watch the, or swap these numbers. Now I can click create a new design and here's my blank design that I can start adding to change the file name, etc. But even easier is if you come back to the STEM research series page and go to the poster creation step, you can choose the 30 by 20 STEM research series template that I have linked here. When that pops up, it's going to say that MCC created a design that you can use. So we're going to choose use that template. And because I'm already logged into Canva, it just automatically adds that to my Canva account. If I come back in here and go to projects, you can now see that I have some rec recent projects right here. And then here's that blank one that I created. So I need to first come in here and change this to my name. So, and then I'm gonna leave this STEM research poster and then you can choose to keep the measurement if you want. I'm just gonna take it off. So in the next tutorial video, we're gonna start learning how to work with the text.